to video two on homemade horses here on the Broken J Bar Horse Co. YouTube channel. That's a mouthful to say, isn't it? So anyways, lots happened since the last time I talked to you. We, uh, uh, we have a pet bat in the barn. That's pretty cool. Um, my mom is not impressed with it. Uh, I think it's the coolest thing I've ever seen. I have a little pet bat. I'll show you a picture right here. Anyways, we have a pet bat. That's cool. Yesterday, we got the tractor running and I was super excited because that means I get to work my arena and my round pen. And then yesterday morning, we also set it on fire. My pant leg got really hot and I panicked, uh, but we got it all out and we're all good. So I think that's about all we did this past week since I talked to you guys last. Without any further ado, we'll get into today's video. I'm just going to take you over my goals board for our horses here uh, and kind of let you know what we do on a typical Monday and we'll go ahead and meet a few of our horses. So let's get into it. All right, so I decided to make this video uh, out here. We're with the horses this morning. Uh, two down, we've got one to go. I've got the two year old right here. This is Miss Birdie. Um, so in this video, I'm just gonna kind of take you through uh, what we do on a Monday, like a, a regular Monday around here. So we'll go through and I'll show you the goals board and we just go through and we kind of set goals for our horses that we're going to achieve for the week and then we saddle up and we get to work. Uh, so I'll just keep talking and throw this up here. We've got five horses on the board. So we've got Birdie here, we've got Glow, We've got Linda, the Happy Happy, and and we have Ike. So all of those horses are in uh, the training program now. Uh, glows being started on the barrels. Uh, Ike's on the barrels. Uh, Linda here is here for, she's being restarted. She's four, she's had a few rides on her and we're just going back over the basics this week on her. Birdie, she's getting started. She is two right now, and she's kind of little for her age. She just turned two in May. So with her, we're going a week on and a week off, and we're just getting her kind of used to the program that, that we run. We do a lot of round pin work on her, and then we are riding her, so uh, while Birdie started, she's just getting the hang of everything and uh, figuring out that uh, humans are okay and that riding can be fun, so we're just taking it nice and slow and easy on her. Uh, Ike's up in the barn and hopefully I can video for you guys. Uh, today he's got the horse doctor coming. Um, he was going really good and we were starting to haul him a little bit to some little starter shows for these horses and when I started uh, asking him for a little more and pushing him a little more um, I noticed that he got a little sore so he was doing some refusing when we asked him for his face and everything so he's gonna get worked on today and kind of have uh, most of this week off so easy week for Ike but other than that we'll go over to the I'll show you our goal board for these horses today and we'll go through and we'll we'll meet some of the horses so this is what my goals board looks like for horses i have this week is the 12th 13th through the 18th um so we start over here and we line up for each horse um our goals for the week and then we plan accordingly so we don't have anything going on this weekend, so my horses get Saturday and Sunday off. Ike might not. Um, so Sasha and then Linda. Linda may or may not. Um, 
But so we, we start over here. So Glow, she's my six-year-old thoroughbred. Um, so I just take into account every week of where we're at. And right now we are uh, working on loping leads and kind of waking up. She's, for a thoroughbred, she's pretty chill and relaxed. And I don't think she really knows that she can run. So we're going to work on taking her to the next level um, on our dry work off the barrel pattern um, for for this week. So today we uh, loped in the arena and I just used the outside rail. We loped big rectangles in the arena and we really worked on getting her to stride out a little bit and kind of teaching her that she can go forward. So tomorrow I'm gonna start her in the round pin with checking up and then the same thing we did in the arena. Wednesday, same thing, round pin, check up, uh, and then arena. And then same thing for Thursday, round pin, check up. I like to spend a week doing the same thing on a horse and getting them real good at uh, doing that one thing before we move on. Uh, and then Friday we can introduce her to the barrel pattern. So we're going to take her back after we war we're going to warm her up and then we'll, we'll put her on the pattern. We'll let her see it, but I don't, you'll see on this goals board with these horses that I don't really work the pattern much at all. Um, most of my work is slow work, ground work, turning, uh, working off that hind quarters, uh, all, all the basics that, that get a horse really good and broke before you start asking them to do things at a higher rate of speed. So that's Glow. We got her week planned out. Um, so Ike, he just had an appointment with um, the brain doctor. We did a little bit um, for him here. He had a session where we just connected his, his body to his brain. Um, if you guys want to a whole video on that I can talk to the gal that came out and maybe we can get that uh, hooked up to where we can talk to her about what she does um, so he got worked on today so he's gonna be off uh, and then I'll bring him back Thursday and we're gonna work on what the little exercises that she gave me to do with him today so this is just an exercise you spell exercise exer anyways you mean what I know exercise uh, and then this will be an exercise also and then probably gonna take him outside this weekend uh, so we have um, well, a few thousand acres back there in the hills that we could take our horses out and it just creates a really good balance in between arena work and being hammered in training and then them getting to go outside and kind of relax and just walk out in the hills and see some country. So I like to incorporate outside in my plans and goals. Uh, so his goal is just going to be, this is a pretty relaxed week for Ike. And Birdie, uh, my baby bird, today we did round pin we checked her up um and then we we got on her and, and walked her out tomorrow same thing check up so when i check a horse up i'll check them up to where um they're tied to their saddle um and flex to the left and then i'll tie them back to their saddle and we'll flex them out to the right this gets her just kind of learning how to follow her nose with the uh, bit pressure so we're gonna go through a few days, uh, two days of that in the round pen. And these are light works because she is so young and she, her body's still growing and developing. So I could, uh, let's write off on Wednesday or arena. I like to take uh, Birdie out and just saddle her up and ride her around in the arena, maybe while I give a lesson or something and just kind of sit on her, give her a really light 
day to where all she has to do is pack me around for an hour or two. Um, and then we'll pick back up on Thursday with round pin checkup and Friday too. And then Miss Sasha, Miss Sasha is Amanda's horse. We, uh, I don't know what order I'm going to put these videos in. So we either just met her or we're going to meet her. Uh, she had a rodeo last weekend, so we gave her the day off. Um, and let's do, usually uh, Sasha and Ike are on the same program, but maybe tomorrow we'll make up a new drill or we'll go through and do a different drill that we've already done. And we'll just do drills, drills, which is, which is also uh, slow work. Slow, slow. And then we'll put her on the pattern on Friday with glow fish too. Okay, so Miss Linda, uh, her sassy, but we call her Linda because when I first got her in, uh, I kept on saying, uh, listen, Linda, listen, Linda, listen, like that uh, video that went viral. So her, all week, we're going to round pin, check up, and then cool down. And I'll kind of explain. So what, what we do is we check her up to the left and then make her um, run laps, basically, so with that bit pressure. And then her deal, the, what, what I'm facing this week uh, with her is... When she stops, she'll turn away from me, uh, which is away from pressure, which uh, is essentially losing her attention. So what we're working on now is if we're going to a circle to the left, I'll check her up to the left direction. And my goal is for this week to get her really used to coming into that pressure and turning into the round pin towards me, making a circle and then picking back up rather than uh, having the bit pressure on the left hand side and then her escaping that pressure and turning making an outside circle anyways um, I'll find a way to explain that better to you but that's what we're working on with her and then she's kind of similar to birdies program right there right now so after I work her um, and and this is um, also how you can get one fit with without just hammering bad habits or lope in a bunch of circles without without a point, without control. Um, I'll check her up and I'll work her and I'll teach her. And then when I get on her, I'll get on her and that'll be our cool down. I'll just walk her around the round pin and, until she's not breathing heavy anymore. And it'll be her relax and her release. Uh, this will get her associated with uh, when I get on her, it's cool, chill, calm and relax, which will help us when we get on her the next week so her goal is relaxing the bit she when when I check her up uh, she gets really mouthy in that bit which means she's still fighting it she's not quite uh, used to it or ready to accept it yet so this is what we do every Monday and I've got Amanda out here helping me and so that's just a little glimpse into what what we do out here how you make a homemade horse This is Miss Sasha. She's in the barn too. She is a Palomino mare and she belongs to Amanda. Say hi, Amanda. <laughs> so they just got back from a rodeo yesterday and Sasha did so good. They ran a 17.3 on a course just a little under a standard. Uh, so they won them some money. So Sasha gets a day off today and we will start her again tomorrow. Right now we're just cold hosing a little bit of swelling out of her back leg because she got in a fight with the horse trailer on the way home. So this is Miss Sasha and you'll be seeing a whole lot of a lot more of her on here on Homewood Horses too. So say bye Amanda. Bye. <laughs> this is Miss Bird, uh, registered name Birdie Get Your Guns. 
She is a two-year-old uh, that I bought as a yearling last year. I got her in last May uh, and we just started riding her. You can see she's a little bit shorter. I'm waiting for her to grow. Uh, but she is a granddaughter of Playgun. So Birdie is, is kind of, she's the horse I spent the most money on for uh, what she is. She was a yearling. Um, and her plan is just to, I'm gonna start her on the barrels. Hopefully I'll get her in a couple years, maybe three. She's in my five year plan to get her running the pro rodeo circuits. Um, and with her bloodlines, uh, she'd be, she's a good candidate for the breeding program also. So with her uh, being two and being so little, like I said, we do a week on, week off uh, training program with her. She is riding. She did give us a little show today. She is a little bit fresh. So for her, she's just kind of my little ace in the hole. So this is the bird. And thanks so much for watching.